Welcome back to the Lunatron here, and today we're going to be going over a guide on how to always pop the golden balloon. So, the golden balloon is pretty mischievous, if I do say so myself. He's oh, pretty fast. I mean, we're going to be building up to uh, seeing the golden balloon. I recently learned some knowledge. Uh, and different things about the golden balloon, how to easily beat it, all of its stats, when it appears, what rounds, everything. So, um, I did uh, research this, and I learned it from a great YouTuber named Ethan Reed. If you, I, sorry if I'm not pronouncing that last part right, but um, if you do want to check out his channel, it's named Ethan Reed, and um, oh, okay, we're good with this uh so the golden balloon is um in one of his newest videos but uh anyway if you do want to check that out then go and see his channel it will be um a pretty good video probably better than this one but if you still want to check this one out after what i've just said then stay along and thank you so much Okay, so the golden balloon basically appears from rounds 21 to 30 once, and then rounds 31 to 40 once, 41 to 50 once, 61 to 60, sorry, 51 to 60 once, 71 to 80, and so on. So every time, it basically gets better and better and stronger to beat. So uh, from rounds 21 to 30, it's going to have no properties, just uh, pretty fast hard to hit balloon that is definitely weird and will go past most of your guys your monkeys it, it's a very odd balloon if i do say so myself um then from rounds 31 to um 40 this is where it gets a little bit interesting because it's it has the properties of a camo balloon and everything else it had before then same as before but a lead balloon instead of camo then a camo lead for rounds 51 to 60. Sorry, um, 31 to 41 to 50. And so then after the um, camo lead, it's a camo lead fortified from rounds 61 to 70. And then after round 70, it's from rounds 71 to 80, a camo lead fortified purple balloon okay now here's where it gets pretty crazy from rounds oh i love the easter eggs and if if you haven't seen my video already on the easter egg showcase then make sure to go check it out it is so good i love the easter eggs i'm showcasing all of them the buckshot everything um so anyway if you go on and check that video out it's my second newest um after this one and so speaking about second newest I know I'm getting a little bit caught off track here, but for those of you who wanted to know what I've been doing, why I haven't posted in about three days, I'm really, really sorry, and I'll get back into posting uh, almost daily, but I did uh, just take like a break from electronics. I was just not really playing, so that's what happened. Uh, so when the golden balloon appears, I will show you guys, um, and hopefully I'll be paying attention at that moment. Okay, so... Um, because it, it, it's possible for it to appear. Uh, so from 71 to 80 is, I think, where I left off. Uh, it's a camo fortified lead balloon with purple properties. And then from rounds 81 to 90, it's a camo lead fortified purple white zebra, a zebra balloon. It's really crazy. So, oh, the golden balloon. Okay, so... Here is the best way to pop this. Okay, we popped it. But I was about to show you guys the best way to pop this golden balloon. We popped it without it. But we're going to need an ice monkey. Uh, that it will permanently stall the golden balloon. Unless, obviously, the golden balloon is from rounds 81 to 90 or higher. So, rounds 81 to about 100. Which, I'm not sure if the golden balloon will appear after round 100, but that's something to know if you do know the answer to that, and maybe comment down below. So, the best way, uh, from my research, that uh, to pop the golden balloon is with the ice monkey, because it would permanently stall the golden balloon in place if uh, you obviously have an MIB, if you need it. Um, so, 
that is no, the number one bit way to pop a golden balloon, and the, you know the reason why. So you would think, hmm, just a Prince of Darkness or something insane like a Crossmaster Elite Defender. Well, even like a Cripple Moab or something. Oh, oh, see, right here. So now it has an MIB, so that's nice. And boom, three monkey money. And so it might not seem like a lot, and a lot of people are like complaining that it's not enough. I mean, seriously, what is this? They, like, they lost an extra zero. They should have more monkey money. But the way I feel about it, the way I see it, is that it's it's totally fine. I mean, you get... Okay, think of it this way. How much monkey money do you get for beating an easy mode on a uh, beginner map on easy mode? 16. How much money do you get for popping two golden balloons, which is how much you get on an easy map on beginner mode, uh, and beginner map on easy mode, four, that is a lot compared to the ratio, it's 25% more than, um, like, 25% of how much you would get anyway, and so that's really good compared to, like, other ways of getting monkey money, uh, see, so right there, we got 16 monkey money on this, or, this is downstream, um, I'm not sure exactly how much we got there. Uh, if you guys would pause it and look, then it would show the golden balloon right next to it and how much monkey money we got from the golden balloon, which was obviously five. So, I think it's a really good addition to balloons. And if you're playing on an expert map on a pop mode, you usually get about 240 monkey money, right? Uh, and then you would get about 80 from the golden balloons that you pop if you pop all of them. That's not really that bad i mean you get about three let's just round it to 320 about i'd say 320 yeah we'll round it to 320 because i'm pretty sure that's about how much you get from the golden balloons on a pop wall um and so anyway if you add that up and divide it for the um ratio how much you get it's really good compared to other ways of getting it because if you already beat in impossible mode on like an extra impossible match, I mean, it's not bad. So I think that it's it's good. And so then um, the golden balloons, the properties. Hopefully, we'll be seeing one soon. Actually, oh wait, let's see how it. Uh, well, actually, I don't want that. I want just an icicles. Let's see how an icicles does against this guy. This next golden balloon, which hopefully it'll appear. Hmm. It'll appear maybe on round 49 or 50. I mean, it's possible. But unlikely. Or, I mean, I guess it's the same likelihood of 49. Both. So, at first I didn't know, hmm, where do golden balloons appear? When am I going to be seeing them? But now I know all of that. And so, um, the golden balloons... Um, so they reduce, oh, so what I was saying is that they reduce all of your damage from other monkeys to one. So, something like a crossmaster that we usually pierce through a lot of balloons, or say, uh, Sada, that would, bam, down ceramic to nothing. Or, uh, probably the best example, a sniper monkey with large caliber, usually, it would take one shot for a zebra balloon. balloon. Well from rounds 21 to 30 guess what it takes seven shots for this guy to beat it and so it's definitely definitely not the best way to pop it because it takes seven shots from that guy to beat the golden balloon because it has seven hp and uh that doesn't seem like a lot but when all damage is reduced to one that's not like that's pretty hard to beat so, um, it's also pretty fast. I'd say that it's, it, it could be nerfed a little bit, or maybe give a little bit more money, but when you look at how much you get, as I've said this before, for any of them, you get about 40% more monkey money. You get about 40% of the monkey money that you would for beating an problem match on easy beginner maps for how much you get for go getting all the golden balloons in that impalpable beginner map. An impalpable beginner 
I mean, it's not hard at all. And if you pop all the golden balloons, which also isn't hard, with a zero, one, two ice monkey, that's all you need. Well, and then a monkey intelligence brew, if you want to pop the later round golden balloons, then it's not hard. That's all you need. So, uh, my summary of this video is that I know people are complaining and they have a right to complain. It does seem a little bit underwhelming, but when you actually look at the statistics of the golden balloons and everything about it, it's not bad. It's, I think it's a great addition. I love that golden balloons are now in the game. I kind of wish that they would be on all maps and not just like the, it's kind of like a totem in the collecting, the, um, collection challenges for balloons, the collection events, um, because the totems just appear on random maps, so it's kind of like that, just with golden balloons, and so that could use a little bit of work, maybe it could be on all maps, or just, uh, you don't know which maps, so it's kind of a mystery, although a lot of people would probably complain about that either, I'm not sure, maybe just make it on all maps, so you always have a chance to get a golden balloon, for say, if you're wanting to be, ouch, on impoppable and you're like oh but there's no golden balloon on it let me just do another one instead because you want a golden balloon people shouldn't have to actually change up what they wanted to do because they want to get the extra monkey money instead from what they actually want to do which is be out on impoppable so if someone was going to be out on impoppable yet the golden balloon wasn't on out on impoppable ah uh, yeah I'd say they should probably fix that a little bit, but other than that, summary of this video, I think it's a good addition, and I like it. It's good if you pop all of them. If you don't pop all of them, it's just, I mean, like Tootie would say, I mean, you need 50, you need to pop 50 of these to get two road spikes, 25 of them for one. Yeah, that's a little bit, I mean, 50... Golden balloons on easy, like, beginner maps, um, to pop Super Monkey, like, to get one Super Monkey Storm. I mean, it's a little bit odd, but you do get a lot for how much you actually, like, on an Apopolo Expert map, you get a lot of golden balloons and a lot of monkey money. So, as I've said multiple times, I think it's a great addition, and let me just go into a different map here uh i'm not sure if they actually appear on sandbox mode let me test that out just for a little bit of extra stats um for you guys okay so if you go into sandbox mode set round 27 say um and that's one of the rooms that it would appear um and if it does appear let's we'll get this guy over here uh, it doesn't look like it we'll see Nope. No, no. Nope. And 22. One of the rounds it would appear. Oh, there's this white. Hold up. Um, just let me do this for a second. Okay. Uh, so we'll see. Golden balloon. No. Okay. Let's set round 24. I'm not sure if it appears in sandbox mode. It probably doesn't, to be honest. Um,. Call to arms. I didn't know I actually got call to arms. I thought I just got an MIB. But the Ice Monkey is really good for stalling ceramics and for stalling golden balloons. So if that's what you want to do, um, like on chimps mode, people use Ice Monkeys to stall all the ceramics um, that pop out of the Moabs. And it's a really good strategy. And I advise you doing it too. Um, if you are going to do a chimps mode. And speaking of that, since I wasn't doing electronics, I devised a strategy on balanced chimps that I was about to actually execute and make for a video. But then I realized that there was some RNG in the strategy and I didn't want you guys to go through any RNG. So I'm now revising my strategy, making it better so that there isn't any RNG. And so... Uh, it's going to be a great strategy and really fun, easy to execute. My own custom strategy. Uh, I came up with it myself. And so it doesn't look like there are any golden balloons in sandbox mode. Let's just check around 25. I mean, yeah, there's probably not any golden balloons. Oh, wow. That's actually a fast attacking ice monkey. Jeez. Um, so there are no golden balloons in sandbox mode as of um, what I just experienced. And also... 
uh, if you guys do want to check out the race event, um, it's honestly pretty easy. I mean, just myself, which I never play, ra play race events. I got top 10% with the um, time of 3 minutes, 39 seconds, and 48 milliseconds. And it's really fun. So, if you guys want to give that a try, uh, use your race pass if you've bought them, which I think that's really cool. Just race passes get you unlimited race attempts for per week wheelie race. No timer, no monkey money, just race. So, it's pretty cool. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below, share this video with your friends, turn on notifications, and until next time, peace!